Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Honkai Star Rail. Alright, so we are in part 3 of this long story quest. I was expecting it to be a little less or a little shorter, but no, I have checked and it appears to me that it's like 5 hours of this thing. Without counting the combat, without counting the, the activities that you have to do, it's quite long. I didn't really expect that. So yesterday, yeah, a little, making a little uh, overview about what happened yesterday. Um, <clears throat> you remember Bootkin, right? He's here helping wrap up. Um, he managed to get into this Slumber Nan Association, but for some reason, March, or I mean, for some reason, Bootkin started to, or fell into their trap. Because he became busy again with all the with the music of the uh, slumber nana monkeys and whatnot, and somehow he found March. Now we went back in time again, and we find out that March actually joined voluntarily. I mean, as a mole too. But now we know why she's here. She she was there. We had a class. We have to beat up a few teachers. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> or Slumber Nana... What do you call it? Nice. Those groups, whatever. <clears throat> we have to beat them. Because they were mean or just crazy. <laughs> and well, um, Mr. Rekka, the one that uh, got us into this. Or not the one that got us into this, but one of the teachers that gave us um, where should we be here. And I really thought that you would get uh, the exact same result, but no, I guess it's different every time. Oh, I guess I could have uh, taken the exam a few ways here and there, hmm. or retaking the, the exam. But now, Mr. Rekka wanted us to meet, them he meet him here here because that that uh, 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 someone from from this faculty needs help making a movie and they haven't had any cast yet so he looked for us and here we are hmm? oh I don't like that Capture stubborn Nana monkeys, five parts laziness, three parts cuteness, and two parts playfulness at all. What? <sighs> but I'm already doing the best I can, Charmini Banana Advisor. It's yeah, Banana Advisor, sorry. <sighs> An utter disappointment to the monkeys. <sighs> Maybe we should change the cast. Acting skills alone won't cut it. They need to adore Slumber Nana with every fiber of their being, Banana! Charmony Banana Advisor, I have a few candidates here. <laughs> Perhaps they will be to your liking. <laughs> Is he talking about us? Uh, Festival Superstars ready to roll. <laughs> Oh, I absolutely adore monkeys. Should we play along or what should we say? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe question. They seem to have potential. They may have I hope you don't leave me disappointed. Hmm. Is this evil seedling a dragon or a monkey? It's supposed to be a dragon. No, I mean, uh, I'm Charmony, the Nan Advisor. <sighs> How wonderful it is to have been scouted by Mr. Rekka. Have faith in a professional director's no. judgment. Have your scripts ready, actors. Show the Banana Advisor what you're capable <clears throat> of. Okay. 
The Legend of the Slumber Nana Monkey narrator every, every year at Paper Fall University, a celebration takes place, the eagerly, eagerly awaited Dreamlight anniversary. For centuries, this event has proceeded without interruptions. However, this year, the Dreamlight anniversary faces an unexpected change. The malevolent memories of Minnie's dress has appeared on campus, casting a shadow of anxiety over the students. To eliminate this dark force, a bright lumber nana monkey leaps into action. Bana! Bana Bana! Ah, it's the brave monkey, wielding his banana magic sword. He embarks on, on a quest against the stressed devil. Meanwhile, the stressed devil is wreaking havoc on campus, shattering the students' conference. The righteous monkey can no longer stand idly by, uh, by and confronts this devil. Vana, 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 <laughs> say something to insult the monkey. <laughs> what the freak? <laughs> this is so freaking stupid, man. The male malevolent curse from the stress double proves potential, and the monkey is defeated. And the brave monkey is defeated. Vana. Bana, bana. In the darkest hour, the most sagac sagacious slumber nana monkey, the wise monkey, appears. Bana. Oh, they say the exact freaking same, come on. Guided by the, by the wise monkey and the brave monkey, recognize his fighting spirit with... Uh, the brave monkey regains his fighting spirit with the wise monkey's wisdom in mind. He confronts the stress devil once more. Say something to provoke the monkey. <laughs> I'm not saying. It. This time, the brain monkey remains unmoved by the malevolent words. Eventually, the stress devil falls, falls to the brain monkey's sword. All students' stress dissipate. Joy and freedom return to campus once more. Yeah, this, that. Eat bananas, not the day I weigh no worry no more. Be happy every day. That's what the song is in place of. Or, yeah, the, the the lyrics of the song. You know the song that brainwashes you. The end. This is ridiculous. Hmm, what a loose script. Why is everything monkey gibberish? Why aren't there any lines for the villa? <laughs> yep, yeah, well, I lose the script. <laughs> Sophisticated masterpieces thrive on simplicity. Let's assign the actors to their roles then. The leading role of Brave. Monkey shall be... Rapa. Uh, Mr. Rekka, I, I, I want to try this role again. Yeah. Your earlier performance was disappointing enough. It's fine. Let's give this proactive actress one more <clears throat> shot. Brave Monkey is known for its can-do attitude, too. Next up is Wise Monkey, who guides Brave Monkey. Your disposition makes you perfect for this role, Don Han. That's true. That's true. Don Han is... Yeah, I would say Don Han fits that. the villain, the devil of stress. I'm confident you'll nail it, superstar. <laughs> for real? Me? As a villain? This character doesn't even have lines. Why? Do I look like a villain, uh, like a devil? Man, this character doesn't even have lines. The role of a conflicted villain requires sublime acting. An improvised lines further demand a robust foundation in the art. You I see. are the only one who can take on this most challenging role. Not so fast. What role do I play? Oh, it seems all the roles have been assigned. Uh, but yes, we'll need someone to narrate. 
Wait, there wasn't a third monkey? A lofty ninja hero relegated to the likes of a narrator? So be it. Oh. <laughs> we'll begin once everyone's ready. The assistant director's camera is ready to roll. Okay. I am ready. Come on. Yeah, ever ready. Get on stage! Mr. Rekka, get the cameras rolling, Banat. Okay, Act let's on. do this. Take your positions. Three, two, one. Action! Dreamscape's glowing, gold hall's flowing. A legendary feast about to get going. Oh! <laughs> This is the ninja mantra. Embellishing words with ninja enchantments is bound to make the play a hundred times more vivid. Yeah, I do say I I, am, I agree. The student wasn't reliable. Forget it. Focus on slumber and a monkey only. Nothing else matters. <laughs> now continue. From the hearts of men, monsters arise. The banquet turns to scorch earth laughter to cries. A passing hero lends a hand. <laughs> no surprise. I'm up next. I have to come up with something obnoxiously conceited. Proclaim your powers. Sp speak the ninja mantra with a wild twist. Listen this spew sword. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> yep. I finally get to make a banab banab <laughs> All you Banab students are a Banab Banab bunch of losers! What? Yeah! Go ahead and Banab 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 Cussed at you Banab at your own Banab 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 University What the frick is this censorship? That plane cracks! is the savior of our university. It would never utter such dainty banat gibberish. So sorry, Bana. Let me try that again. Bana, Bana, Suffering and pain, the fruits of blind hate. A hero draws a sword ready for the fight to break. Bana, Bana. You will get up again. Brave Monkey hasn't gained the power to defeat the Devil of Stress at this point. How can it possibly have so much grit? How? Well, even if you don't have the power, you still try your best, don't you? Idiot. I'm so sorry, Bana. I'll try again. Bana. Bana. It's my turn now. I should say something demeaning to Brave Monkey. Demeaning? <laughs> Let's do that again. Oh, provoke brave, brave monkey. Speak. <laughs> <laughs> Good for nothing, monkey. You're no match for me, loser monkey. Go back home and chomp on your bananas instead. Fail. I don't feel an ounce offended by your failure of a demeaning provocation. You're only coming off as a cutie banana pie. <laughs> really? <laughs> banana, banana. The heroes down and out defeat hanging in the air, but <clears throat> in walks the master with wisdom to share. Banana, banana, banana. <laughs> Who's that playing? You! Your lines are fine. Go on. Next line. <laughs> Thanks for quenching her wrath, Don Hung. The master's wisdom resonates to his core. The hero's blade sharper than ever before. Yesterday's loser is back in the fight. Fight or flight, evildoers think twice. It's my turn again. 
this time, I'll say something to taunt Brave Monkey. Oh, now you have to talk, huh? Oh, look who's back for another whooping! <laughs> for another whooping? <laughs> with Ninja Nishigakaku's acting. In fact, you are being overly critical of her. Drew. <laughs> you think? Are you the banana advisor who grades her work or the director who assigns her roles? It's up to me to assess my students' worth in this class. <laughs> That's how it was. <laughs> Let's stop filming, Mr. Rekka. We need to swap out the actors. <laughs> stop! I no, not yet. The show still isn't over. Ah. Uh, this again. It feels like I'm in a dream. You are. Are you all right? Oh no. Rap, I do something. That's why. No, what are you doing? Wake up! Oh, congratulations, students! Thanks to Slumber Nana Monkey, you'll soon be qualified actor. Just as I thought, this is yet another snare laid down by the evil ninja. Why are you still losing? Truly an incorrigible student! Nay, dinosaur fiendling! Your feeble sorcery stands no chance against my dazzling ninjutsu! Watch me snap everyone back to their senses! Hiya! Dazzling palm, largest chop! Oh! <laughs> the other fiery ninja force search on the <laughs> in your forehead once more is not being you out of the days. Oh. Two chops in one day. Ah. Ah. Ow. Oh, what happened? As stated in the Cosmic uh. Jutsu inscriptions, the stone heart of a ninja is immune to pressure, immune <clears throat> to lies, come wind, rain, or shine. <sighs> Never forget who you truly are, Ninja Nishia Gaku. <laughs> no, but we've come to the climax of the film. Just a small swap among the roles. <laughs> Charmony Banana Advisor, you're up for the villain this time. Oh. What are you eating? I said to stop filming. Stop filming! Cut! Win. You're on my set. I am the director. 
Come on now, dear actors. Let's salvage this lousy film with an electrifying fight scene. Oh, you're wrong. Great ninja minds think alike. <laughs> I agree. Yep, fighting suits me better. Yeah, I'm no longer the villain. Yes, my favorite kind of episode. Every chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Hey, do I really have to fight too? Um, we'll take that as a yes. Music, yes. All nonsense. Time to the ninja's blade can and must sever the chain of cause and effect. All right. Yeah. <laughs> The show began. Like fireflies to a flame. Right, he gets death. Until everything burns to ashes. Firefly, type four, in position. Live to fight. My serpent. Whoa, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and the attack boost. I'll take that, thank you. them down the mood is set just right let the, the show, show begin, begin. Is 
know what I'm doing about this. Can I show him? Set the piece of lace! And... Now of here. Yeah, you too. Very cute. All of them destroyed. Say goodbye to evil plot strategies and ploys. The life of the party, savior of the school. Let's hear it for the hero here to keep it cool. <laughs> Ninja Nishiki Gaku, deliver your final line. But for now, oh, that evil thing. Your vile words cannot bring Ninja Nishiki Gaku down. It's victory for us ninjas. Huh. This one has ceased operating as well. It's as if some unseen puppeteer cut its strings. Hmm, when you say this time, no pinning the blame on me this one. <laughs> so Dream Strip gotta up their game. Ninja Gamma, can you kindly enlighten us on the proceedings thus far? <laughs> so you actors have caught on. <clears throat> Let me reveal the next act in the plot, then. We'll be exploring the misdeeds going down at Paperfold University. All right now, dear actors. Ever heard of a mimetic virus? Is that what Slumber Nana Monkey is? You're right. Mimetic corruption comes about from the dissemination of data. It alters particles of information picked up by the cognitive module, skewing the sensory perception of certain objects in those that have been corrupted. Much like special effects in a film. Mm. Words, songs, videos, these are all mediums of transmission. Humans naturally have a curiosity for the unknown, and mimetic viruses take advantage of this. Mimetic corruption is known to influence one's thoughts even in the real world and in the dreamscape. They catalyze nightmares that corrupt humans into monkeys. I see. The evil ninja instructs the evil feelings to spread through media, masking it as entertainment to implant the seeds of dark sorcery in the hearts of the ninja initiates. Misappropriating the role of actual educators gave them the perfect chance to mangle the minds of innocent ninja initiates, only to hasten the growth of those fiendish seeds they sowed. And so, all ninja initiates of Paperfull Town will succumb to fiendishness, becoming puppets of the evil ninja. What a despidious, degenerate, and dastardly ploy! talking about are these lines in the script this actor's lines may be somewhat cryptic but yes the general plot direction is on point what mm. ninja gamma why are you bogged down by an action when you've long realized the truth behind their pretense i'm just a director that stumbled upon a sinister plan a reckless move on my part can bring dire consequences. It is up to very important stars like you to defeat that hell kite of a villain. So he's not These evil. banana advisors were appointed by the acting dean, Prof. <gasps> of course. I believe I don't have to make this any more explicit. Go to the dean's office to find the answers you seek. Oh, and keep me updated on how the plot unfolds. Of course. About appearing in my films, aren't you? Come over here and choose a script. <laughs> <laughs> Can I really? <gasps> Thank you so much. <laughs> a castle showdown looms ahead of us, fellow ninjas. We ought to make haste with ninja speed. Oh, it's there. What? Oh, it's an owl?
Brother, he's a big body, a body. He's right down you, you know? I can also win you knowledge. Oh, and there's a Dean. Hmm. How did it went from being a an owl to a <laughs> to a freaking monkey? <clears throat> Let's do with that. Oh, the freaking monkeys are here too, huh? Oh. Ah, what a surprise, my dear students. Hmm. No appointment or polite knock on the door, but I welcome you, but nonetheless. Cease the shady evasion. I urge you to come clean now. You're evil ninja who sorrows feeling chief, aren't you? Uh, excuse me, dear student. Could you help me translate that? The short story is that a memetic virus has broken loose in Paperfold University. It's going around infecting the students' minds as we speak. Slumber not a monkey is that virus, Prof Nana. And its transmission was orchestrated by none other than your banana advisors. <sighs> I thought this class would last a little longer than this. Your confession came sooner than we expected. So, is this one of Dr. Primitive's schemes? A scheme? But now. You're thinking too highly of this place. Panacone is nothing but a cesspool of riches. It will never be worthy of the great doctor's sublime experiments on humans. Here, it's just me, a second-class research aide working in Panacone on my graduation thesis. An atavistic experiment centered around mimetic entities. My research is going along smoothly. People here adore slumber, Nana Monkey. Especially students from the youth demographic group. Soon, they'll create a new synesthesia dreamscape. The moment of slumber nana, and foster its growth, expansion, and evolution. Endless atrocities that Osaro unleashed onto the world. Just to build an evil realm where a hundred malevolent spirits prowl at night? Put them. Girl, I cannot begin to fathom your cryptic speech. It doesn't sound like you're speaking ill of me. Or are you? <laughs> never mind. Ordinary folks will never understand the great cause of our atavistic experiment. How about a pop quiz before I clarify your doubts? Who knows how bananas reproduce? Through the seeds, through pollinations, through mokutun banana jeets. <laughs> through seeds, huh? It's supposed to be a bomb. To maintain their taste, the majority of commercial bananas are produced through asexual reproduction. Lacking seeds and pollen, they are grown from the same rhizome. Hmm, that's correct. Five ember eras ago, the Intelligentsia Guild cultivated a banana species that humans deem perfect. The Golden Slumber Nana. The Golden Slumber Nana swiftly dominated the food market. Nutritious, sweet, and its peel gives off a mesmerizing golden sheen. It transforms. Why are you giving us a freaking speech about the golden banana? The golden hour at night. But it eventually became extinct, didn't it? Why? Exactly. Why a lecture because now? Because cultivated by humans, the slumber nana lacked room for evolution. Having the same set of genes also meant sharing the same vulnerabilities. And when a fatal cosmic fungus wormed its way into the production line, the same banana species that reigned over all the others of its kind was scrubbed <clears throat> clean from the entire cosmos. In just mere months. Are you saying that humans will suffer the same fate? Of course. 
the Golden Slumber Nana's predecessor was the highly reproductive Jade Green Banana. If not for human intervention, it would have blossomed much more vibrantly over the years, much like Penacony has been. It's a pity those on Penacony just had to be second-rate copycats. But with constructing skyscrapers, building cities, printing currencies, and even making the decision to become like the other cogs in the cosmic marketplace. Following the exact path of the Golden Slumber Nana, stubbornly holding on to the status quo, creating fatal vulnerabilities for themselves, and ultimately becoming useless. Having undergone a flawed banana enlightenment, the doctor seeks to return these misguided worlds to their embryonic potential, giving them a fresh chance to develop. This is the atavistic experiment. Come on, just spare us a philosophical lesson. Please! As I traveled from one planet to the other, a prevalent but unpalatable observation struck me. Not a single ninja could speak. They had all become fiendlings. Oh. But I know for a fact that they were not born this way. The monkey that scurried past you was going to see you. He knew how to ferment his own wine and would do so regularly. The one in the distance, fighting with the other monkeys over a piece of fruit, used to be the smartest person on his planet. Even having the knowledge to send people soaring into the sky. Mm. But from now on, they're monkeys. Just monkeys. Am I imagining things, or did you learn how to speak like a normal person? Or, could it be that this familiar scene reminded you of your past? Given the Doctor's brilliant mind, his ambitions are lofty and are sure to be realized. For the common man, <laughs> all they do is lose themselves in unrealistic fantasies, becoming an impediment to a civilization's evolutionary progress. Whether imbued with life or not, everything ought to be used to its full potential. Hmm. How long has it been now? I'm surprised that lesson hasn't stuck. Doctor's failed creation. <clears throat> hmm? Your scheme ends here. Oh, is that so? Ever considered why I allowed you to do as you please on campus? Even going as far as to guide you to me. Paperfold University is nothing more than an incubator. No great loss if discarded. But if it can eradicate the pests in the lab, then it'd be used to its full potential. Banana, banana. That's all I have for you. Class dismissed. He was behind all of this. Just what do you think you're doing, Memo Keeper? <gasps> Another Memo Keeper? I've already met all your demands, dearest producer. Please hold up your end of the deal as we've agreed. Lift this abominable curse that stifles my artistic expression. Demands? I'm afraid not, Mr. Becker. Until you hand over those incorrigible and willful monkeys, you have not met all of my demands. But that's not our deal. 
I went to great lengths to help you infiltrate the school, disrupted the family's surveillance, and even dealt with the ranger who was causing you the most trouble. And now you want me to give up ownership of the actors? We're talking exceptional talents that are incredibly rare to come by. They have so many more stories waiting to be unearthed. I can't allow their journey to end here. Mr. Rekka, there is no room for negotiation here. I have no need to negotiate with a captive. If you don't acquiesce, then in less than three system hours, you'll turn into a slumber nana monkey like those students. Hand them over now if your directing career even means anything to you. No, I refuse. Prof. Nana, have you ever wondered why I ended up under your control? Tracking down the doctor's whereabouts shows you have some skill. However, believing you could follow us unnoticed was quite presumptuous, wasn't it? Even if we were to need animals for our experiment, you're nowhere near qualified, great director. What a pity. I put my life on the line just so I could make this wonderful film a reality. I decided a long time ago that I'd do anything for art. So your threat means nothing to me. Every film crew knows full well the risks they run the moment filming begins. And in turn, a dedicated director would never stop rolling the cameras. Even if it meant having to insert an obelisk next to a crew or cast member's name in the credits. In the end, you too are just a pitiable monkey, struggling for worthless dreams. Be prepared to sacrifice yourself then. The frog. Now we are we're going back to Bokyo. Like was all all a scheme set by this. Ah, why why are why, th why are things so freaking complicated? Hmm? Hatred is the frailty of the weak. That line again. <clears throat> and that is everything that Slumber Nana Monkey taught me. Think about this, everyone. The emotions we experience, be it joy, sadness, or an epiphany, every one of them is produced from a subtle shift in chemical composition within this vessel of ours. With some manipulation, we should be able to easily create or erase emotions. That means triggering a sudden change in your own temperament isn't out of the question. So here's my conclusion. Even if a behavior is generated after thorough deliberation, it is no more sophisticated than the simple act of jumping. What? One photo horseman. I got to agree. What the frick? I'm checking some. Where are you going? It wasn't easy to get in. So don't do anything that'll draw unnecessary attention. At least stop pointing your gun at people. <laughs> Appreciate it, nameless gal. You have uh, quite the authority around here, huh? Has the uh, Astral Express begun to take on the monkeys? I wasn't expecting that either. But the assistant Anna's insist, I'm a great talent. They even gave me a membership card with a high level of clearance. Wait, talented for a club that advocates the abandonment of all thought? Oh, oh, hey, Rob, oh. am I? You were so darn mesmerized by their speech back there. Oh, well. I was just 
listening to what they had to say. It's not like they managed to convince me anyway. Plus, if they don't talk in rhyme, it's probably just nonsense. <laughs> so, the fuck or? What brought you here? You don't look like you're a fan of these monkeys. Why not? Galaxy Rangers are forking monkey fans. We <laughs> go bananas at the mere sight of them. So, he's on the hunt for some kind of fugitive? That explains why he's dressed like a sheriff. <laughs> he's not. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Why would you say that much? What? Yada yada, tell her my last story then. I'm gonna go check the place out. Yeah, thanks for keeping it loud, March. Really appreciate it. <laughs> You're with a man, I'm not cursing. <clears throat> hey, nameless gal. Can we have a little talk over yonder? Uh, just me? Why can't we just talk here? Um, it's okay. You guys go ahead. I'll wait for you over there, March. Although her tone is normal, there was still a hint of nervousness. What are you uh, up to? <laughs> I only just convinced her everything's fine, you know. Awful chummy with someone you just met, ain't you, friendo? All right, great nameless one. Drop the act already. What's the deal on your side? When did you guys start laying eyes on Doctor Primitive? Doctor Primitive? Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Uh, let's swap intel then. You first. It doesn't take much to tell Dr. Primitive story. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh-huh, exactly as we suspected. So, did you find anything at Dreamflux Reef? Uh, there ain't a thing here. But who cares? Seen this plenty of times. There's only one solution. We've all read this rodeo, so I reckon I don't need to spell it out. Um, yes, I totally agree. Sweet. All right then. Very terrible. I'm a high-ranking member. <laughs> what? A joke, but you took it even further. Oh, shut up. You're ruffling my bananas now. That wasn't a joke. If it were the IPC lackeys, I'd have them lined up right this instant for a one way ticket to the other side. Mm. They only planted kids in this place. I can't be using my ways on them. It's not the first time Dr. Primitives use others as scapegoats. I ain't gonna step on the same rig twice. But aren't you doing that right now? Falling for the trap? <laughs> Ever seen a squib load? When timed right, it's more effective than unloading a full clip. Now, I got no clue what kind of monkey business this club's up to. <laughs> I know from the static noise at Dream Flux Reef that they're sure as heck interested in Pinnacle. They'll definitely step in if we raise the roof off of this place. Mm hmm. Unless you've got a better idea you can think of. Let's do it my way, Star Member. Uh, I do have an idea. Sort of. Uh, just hold your horses. And let's go back and meet Montana first. Remember, be nice. <laughs> he is, in his own way. Oh. New monkey. Aww, why did it run off? Aww, I wanted to play with it, too. March, you're finally back! Yeah, uh, let's do this again. 
again. <laughs> the right way. This is Boot Hill. You guys started off on the wrong foot. He is actually a really nice person. Oh, don't worry about me. I thought about it earlier. Pentagoni sees a ton of visitors and transiting travelers. It's only yeah. normal to meet people of all sorts of background here. Yeah, I was wanted on a few occasions too. Uh, maybe a dozen times? <laughs> Bro. Uh, never mind. That's not important now. What would you say that? Let's talk about the Slumber Nana Association. There is an important seminar scheduled for today, right? Are we in time for that? Oh, March! You remembered wrong again. This is far grander than a seminar? I guess you could call it a theophany? A uh, what? In just a bit, we'll get to see the actual slumber nano monkey in the flesh. Holy bananas. There are rip-offs of this thing. <laughs> That's not it. Slumber nano monkey went viral overnight, but people have different opinions on how the fad began. No matter what people choose to believe, there has to be a slumber nana monkey that started it all, and we're about to see it! The original slumber nana monkey in all its unfiltered glory, free from all sorts of stereotypes. Uh, I'm not quite following, <laughs> but it sounds impressive, I guess. <laughs> Students from campus who attended a few theophanies before. What did they say about it? Nothing really, but they had this look, um, like they'd been to the world's end. What? Every single one of them looked like they were in a state of absolute bliss. I want to feel like that too. Well, ain't that something? Reckon I gotta see it myself. Still got a bit to wait, huh? Then what? Uh, hey, hold up. Where are you heading off to again? Oh. The three? Track down cutie fudge spies who have met the slumber nana monkey. Maybe it's, it's hey this. There. How? Banana. 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 Oh. It's hard to describe what exactly sets him apart in the crowd. He looked over, and the clarity in his eyes was astonishing. It seems this person isn't planning to respond. Also, oh, that's them. I see. Okay. Hey. Can see me, right? For now, for now, for now. <sighs> In response to this unprovoked offense, she revealed a smile and then fell silent. See what the fudging and the theophany is all about. <laughs> Uh oh. What's this now? Watching TV gotta be this complicated. Oh, you're back! This is the theophany that Montana told us about. The only way to see Slumber Nana Monkey is apparently through forming some kind of connection with the Assistant Nana. Thank you for waiting. Oh, another member hoping to see Slumber Nana Monkey? No, not her. Just me. Yeah, it's the best. You're trying to worm your way in again, huh? <laughs> but you won't be able to establish a connection if you know nothing about Slumber Nana Monkey. He you does know he's unfamiliar, but you don't seem like a regular member either. Huh. That's right. I've been told I'm quite talented. Huh? What talent? 
scent do you have? I'm Denisovan 244, March 7. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, it's you. Yes, I've heard about you. She you took her thing. To truly reach she, took her, she took her thing. Come over to me. Uh, not so fast. What are you up to this time? The dimmer of us two plays a bait. The other gets ready to fight. Mm hmm. Keep watch outside. Hey, wait! Hey! Uh, hello? That was fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, going in the dream? In a dream, Bubba? The sound fades away. Unfortunately, the sensory isolation happened too quickly. He didn't have to. He didn't have time to hear the girl's question, and reconsiders his adventure. The answer is simple, Miss. This gentleman here, he wants to visit the past more than anyone else in the room. Oh. Yes. What's the big fudging idea here? Is this all there is? We meet again, sir. <laughs> I've seen run-down saloons fancier than this place. You call this a theophany? Crafting an attractive but deceptive vision is a crude method, entirely opposite to the values that the slumber nana monkey aims to share with people. Many other members before you have come here seeking something, but these tend to be the usual truth, happiness, peace, and the like. Unfortunately, there are no answers here. Only one question. Will this make you worse off? What is this fudging nonsense? <laughs> <laughs> Have patience. I will explain everything in detail. It's in detail, not For detail. Example, if I asked you to give up malt juice, what would be your first thought? Oh. Now come on, answer with you, man. You want to get a drink before that, won't you? That should be the exact thought in your head right now. Huh? Don't pull that nonsense on me. A classic will always be a classic. Oh. Now, hold on, there, partner. Sometimes you gotta try something new. <laughs> Introspection is key, no matter the hour. <laughs> you see, these are the thoughts that come to your mind when you were given that question. Sadly, it appears that whichever option you choose, there will be some lingering regret. Oh. With that, let's go on to imagine a scenario that doesn't hold true in reality. Under the gaze of both the two st stream streams? If the dependence on the drink I was cannot never repass. there to begin with, this problem would naturally not exist, and the resulting thoughts would also disappear. Here's a question. Will this make you worse off? <sighs> Uh-oh. Holy <laughs> What's gotten into me? He's right. I, I don't have the urge to drink at all. <sighs> Messing around in my head like that. No wonder the synesthesia beacon's all screwed up. <sighs> no. This busted thing can't do it alone. So who's the scoundrel behind all this? Moving on. 
Let's turn our attention toward issues that are a little more complicated. Say, your hatred for the IPC. No. I see. That is one vast and endless wall of rage you have there. Since you know, think before you speak. Don't go asking for trouble, you banana. Calm yourself. Slumber Nana Monkey wouldn't preach about forgiveness or burying the hatchet. Now that's something even I'd find annoying. Huh. Instead, it'd support you taking vengeance into your own hands. Just like this. Whoa. With wolf kill? Oh! Just didn't like have this thing. Enjoying yourself? Time to test our rapport. It's my turn. I'm gonna hold everyone back again, demon! So this is the warmth oh, of life. Stand still. Bring it on, Walker. Drone. Eternal melody. Okay, it's out there. The mood is set just right. Oh, frick. Then what am I supposed to do? I have never played with boot killers, so I don't know what am I supposed to do. Time to test our rapport. It's my turn. Waiting in line life. for a bullet? Let's do it. Fair and square. Throw. All things are as one. I have to break him now. Let's try this. Will be swept away by the wind of time. Do. 
stay in step. It's my turn. Great teamwork. The mood is set just right. Let and the show begin. Bring it on. Boom, boom. Boom. Oh. Of grace and help. Pay attention. Yeah. Ow. <clears throat> oh. 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 Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Take that's really good. That's another effect. Let's improvise. The warmth of life. Now, finish him, both kill. You'll do. There we go. Two of his guns should go. Or one, I mean. Ow. Stay in step. Dreams do come true. Square. Fire. Here's the there. All right. I don't know what. Why? Okay. Do you I understand now. What a load of hogwash! You reckon taking aim at phony targets gonna get your blood pumping? I understand. But venting <laughs> your anger can help relieve the tension you built up, and when that happens. You'll be less averse to accepting unpalatable advice. Now, just like before, imagine a scenario that doesn't hold true in reality. For a person who has made revenge their sole purpose in life, what would happen if their hatred were to vanish? Will this make you worse off? <sighs> Rotten bananas. What wacky theory are you trying to prove? Oh. Well, what the heck? I actually feel pretty good right now. Oh. <laughs> Who banana fudging cares about revenge? Uh oh, that's not good. Excellent. You're very perceptive. Let's move on to the next lesson. That's not good at all. Galaxy Ranger. Oh, I no. know very well. Hatred isn't something that can be easily erased. This will be your toughest lesson. But I'll be with you throughout. Now then. If you end all connections and forget everything that lies to that ties you to the world. make you worse off, Mr. Ranger. This is a decisive moment, and the man named Woodhill knows it well. Knows it well. Or rather, the man that once that was once known as Woodhill. <laughs> I ain't quite sure what you're talking about, but you sure seem mighty fascinating. Uh-oh. Nice to meet you, partner. What's your name? Oh no, he forgot everything? This isn't the first time we've met, but... You can call me... Prof Nana Primo. Oh. The cultured soul, then. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm just a research aide. And you? You'll soon be mentioned in my research report. Handling the commotion at the university is easy. The main concern has always been here, Dreamflux Reef. If it weren't for the need to eliminate you as a variable, I wouldn't have purposely slowed down. And with that, the class here has come to an end. 
Oh no. Get a move on, dear student. I'll be waiting for you at the end to unveil a new chapter of your life. Will his resolve be stronger? Come on. Erudition is but an affliction that the average person cannot bear. Losing it will not make you any worse off. Say when the freaking freaking texting. Getting these colors will not make you any worse off. Now he lost uh, the colors too. He's colorblind. Oh. Sounds will only introduce frustration and anxiety. <laughs> no. No, even the sound? No, there is nothing. <clears throat> Darkness enveloped everything in silence. Even though no sound could be heard, it was easy to imagine what words were echoing at them at that moment. Even if you lose the ability to see everything, you won't be happy. You won't be any less happy. No matter how you look at it, the man was always one step behind. The trap he willingly walked into extinguished the very firepower he intended to use. Thus, after finding his nemesis, his fate was clear. Just like those who were once human, he too will transform into a monkey. Ooh. Oh! Bam! <clears throat> Unfortunately, the sense of pain remains whenever and wherever it's appropriate to use it to bring someone back to their senses. I made it in time. Thank goodness you didn't end up like that. Oh, what happened? No time to explain. Hurry, I need your help. What's happening? I'll go wake Montana. Hurry. Oh, they're about to transform in monkeys. Wait. What's going oh. on? Oh. Yep. This is my grace, Miss Nameless. As for your ranger friend, though, you just single-handedly destroyed his path to happiness. Uh, stay where you are. Don't come any closer. <laughs> Resorting to violence is not my intention. I'm only here to prove something, not to subjugate. Prove what? To prove that my viewpoint is in line with the desires of humans. <laughs> this way. Why do you seem so out of it? Haven't you woke 
even up yet? Uh oh. Banana. 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 What's your problem? Why are you blocking our way? He are free to leave if you wish, but not with my subject. He's still under observation. Your subject? Will kill. Mm hmm. Unlike typical humans, his modified body is impervious to physical deterioration. With a steely grit and determination that never wavers, he can easily resist all forms of corruption. Wow. <laughs> That's handy. <laughs> a galaxy ranger like him. It'll be worthwhile to see what I can turn him into. Let me guess. You want to call for help right away because you're convinced these monkeys, formerly humans who have lost their minds, are under my command. If that's the case, why do you believe that you really woke up the ranger? Uh, that can't be right. Mr. Galaxy Ranger, would you please fire a shot at this young lady? Uh oh. In her hurry turn, she had prepared for the worst. Even if she saw a slumber, a slumber nana monkey aiming a gun at her and pulled the trigger, she wouldn't be too surprised. However, Buddhi's response was far beyond her expectations. <laughs> oh. Sir, killing folks is against the law. Especially when it's a lovely lady like her. Accompanied by... Oh, accompanied by an unusual tone of voice, what appeared before March 7 was a fantastical scene that could only exist in the realm of memories. I'm the star of the show now. All because of this here gun. <laughs> It's a nice gun, all right, but using it to take a life, I have no such intention. Oh, so he was like this? Really? How about the two of you settle your own scores while I'll be on my way? Whoa. You? Wait a minute. Is this what you wanted me to see? That's right. This is merely a hollow dream. So even if they turned into monkeys here, their physical bodies in the real world will not be subjected to any biological deterioration. So every person that was turned into a monkey, they didn't just turn a monkey into that dream, but also IRL. <laughs> oh, frick. Oh, 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 oh. oh. The ranger's extraordinarily staunch and unyielding mind made him an even more valuable specimen to be studied. His mind hasn't been completely wiped out. Instead, he is neither a monkey, nor is he a galaxy ranger. Mm. He's a young boot hill, one from many years back. Back when his homeland hadn't been ravaged, when he lived as a carefree child in the grasslands. A partial regression. How very interesting indeed. If memory serves, this version of him is at least ten years removed from the older boot hill, when he first fired a shot at a bandit. Wait, <laughs> so do you, do you, are you saying that He's not even old enough to drink or something. I mean, he looks like a teen. He is a, he looks like a teen, maybe a... Yeah, like 12, 13 years, maybe. I don't know. But 10 years. <laughs> Miraculous. Be it He's not at all. Troop or myself, he can end it all with just one shot. But it just so happens that the decision to pull the trigger has to be made by his soul rather than his body. The child version. 
version of him now is completely incapable of firing his own gun. Oh. All right, Mr. Cowboy, come to me. Let's finish your final lesson now. A galaxy ranger that stands on the side of Dr. Primitive. A traitor born from nurture. This warrants several more research papers. Dreams. Uh, hey! Don't go over there! Be quiet, young lady. And mind your manners while class is in progress. No. 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 <laughs> Why? Why would you accept it? Am I dreaming? Yes, of course. This dream is based off your memories. What do you last remember? Were you herding or chopping firewood? Neither of those. I was eating some piping hot stew. Huh. Well, that's strange. How did I fall asleep? Well, there's a lot of things I should be doing. I, I guess Nick's gonna kick me awake soon. <laughs> you haven't brought up that name in quite a while. But I suppose that's only right, considering where you are on the timeline. For you at this point, everything the IPC does is still in a far off future. <laughs> What a strange dream. Everything sounds like nonsense. Hmm. It doesn't matter. It's time for you to come back to reality. How does it feel? Does waking up from a dream bring you misery? Misery? Well, no. <laughs> it's a shame you're stuck in a dream. Can't lay eyes on the land I love. It's so gorgeous. You'd be willing to die right there. It's hard to believe someone so young would use that kind of analogy. <sighs> Ain't nothing strange about that. People gotta find ways to soothe their souls. Part of that's coming to terms with life and death. There's a saying from Aragon of Partial. Uh, death is the fairest form of grace. For the good-hearted, death keeps their purity intact. For the cunning scoundrels, death ends things clean and quick. I see. Does that mean you're not afraid of death? If so, please extend your hand out for me. I suppose you're perfectly willing to apply the fairest form of grace to every corner of the universe in the name of dr primitive that is this is my final lesson for you you shall thoroughly understand his philosophy and with that a star will pitifully fizzle out no problem teacher but uh, there's something else i have to tell you What's that? I was worried about missing my shot. But now that I've gotten a hold of you, I reckon I won't. Oh! What? How is this possible? The regression should have occurred already. Whew. You want to know something? I was worried I had it all wrong just now. But now... There ain't no problem. It's only an evil doer asks why before he dies. I ain't deaf, all right. Well, you were yapping so loud. Did it ever cross your mind I could tell good from evil? Oh! Huh? I mean, wow! As Nick said, revenge needs no excuses. Just like how there's one thing in the world that doesn't need to be taught. Taking a shot at bad guys. Oh, he's black! How did things take such a turn? You're just a child! I mean, he is speaking so loudly was... The thing that triggered everything. Even for someone born with a bad nature, 
first time doing something like this should weigh heavily on their conscience. Hmm. Is that so? Well, I reckon you got that wrong. Be it a wanted criminal with the blood of many on their hands, or a young cowboy who's never fired a gun. Both share a common instinct in every sense of the word. And that's to put a bullet in anything evil. Muddle butcher. <laughs> Well, it's strange way to start a comeback. Oh! You think this is the fault you you hold some at all things are as one. Why both on Roa May? Why? It's my turn. Waiting in line for a bullet? Bring it on, Border. Fire! Pay attention. Okay. <clears throat> hey, hey, all right. There's no reason it was you bunch anymore. There are only two kinds of people in the world. Those with a loaded gun. Those who did their own break. That. Get that. All of you stand still. Let's do it. Fair and square. Draw. I didn't see you get free. Oh. Take your positions. The mood is set just right. Let the show begin. Waiting in line for a bullet? Bring it on, Borger. Fire! There's more to life There's than no reason friend. it was you bunch anymore. There are only two kinds of people in the world. Those with a loaded gun. Those who dig their own grave. You'll do. Okay. Thank you. I will take that energy. Oh, thanks for filling my my energy. Yeah. Okay, go with your dream. Okay, that's one of them down. Academic value, I suppose. Eternal knowledge. This. There's no reason with you bunch anymore. There's two kinds of people in the world. Those with a loaded gun. Those who did their own break. You're out there. Okay. Let's improvise. Let's finish you. Up. You stand still. Bring it on, Borger. Fire! Here's your final reward. There we go. Done. That's another good thing about dying. Whatever your excuses and ideas are, I ain't gotta waste time listening to them. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, uh, am I late? <laughs> 
referring to what's finished or what's only just beginning? The one that's about to begin? Oh, oh right. I should go get help. You need to get your head checked, like, right now. <laughs> what? Get my head checked? What fork in hell are... Huh? My synesthesia beacon's back to normal. Damn it. <laughs> That's forking amazing. Hot diggity fudge. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I see. No wonder those assistant Annas only want to teach students one on one. I had a hunch. Sometimes it's just dead simple. Don't gotta be a genius. Follow me, nameless. No need for reinforcements, seeing as how a few bullets will clear this up. Fork in hell. You think you could find a better shot than me and Pentaconi? Our people find the monkey, big shot, and show them who's boss around here. There it is. Wait, hang on. I will before we do that. I need to do something on Nikkei first. So <clears throat> before our final showdown against these monkeys, this is going to uh, this video will end here. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you, you all of you enjoyed this. And if you did, leave a like. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about this little trip on Boot Hills like backstory. I thought it was something interesting. It was quite interesting. And I must say it was Oh, it was so So impressed how they are trying to solve him. I mean, and I kind of like Cowboys. You've, you've seen my Red Time Redemption 2 um, playthrough. Hmm. Uh, I guess if they made this a little more clearer, the, I would have liked it more and maybe pull her him. He's cool. Uh, he's a con character and uh, you know how con characters are. But he's not that bad. But I, but I prefer Destruction or in this case Erudition with Rafa. So let's stay tuned for that until I finish and maybe I will go for her. Oh no, I will I will think. I will think about it. So like I said, thank you so much for watching. Hope you just, I, and please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss anything that I will be uploading about this or Nikkei too. I was Kemirko and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye bye!